Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to show you a template that's going to get you started very quickly mixing songs um, with uh, every channel being the same and it's going to be a good starting point. Now this is not going to be the solution for every project, for every session that you're going to be doing, but it's going to get you close. The idea is you don't want to have to reinvent the wheel. Look for hundreds of plugins and go in there and select another plugin. It is exhausting. And trust me, I've been there. Sometimes I still fall into this trap. There's so many plugins that we own. And um, it's just exhausting that for every little track, you have to select a different workflow, a different set of plugins. This is not how great mixers work necessarily or used to work at all they had one big mixing console of course they had outboard gear but in many cases it's like yeah i have the cmaq on each on, on every track yep there's one compressor on it yep that's what i'm working with i'm making the different mix decisions in my head uh, i'm using my fingers i'm making adjustments but i don't need 355 different tools so this is where it's coming from so let's have a look at that and there's another reason look at this here in logic this is something that i really like here this this here if you click on this it creates a compressor it activates the compressor if you click on this you get the eq so yes i will be using the so-called stock Ooh, oh my god the stock eq oh my god why not use pro q3 well pro q3 doesn't have a window here here if i use channel eq i can make it as large and small as i want it's not that different from pro q3 see this i get a visual representation so if i'm looking at it in my entire mix i see first of all if the eq is turned on and what it's doing um, that allows me to click less, allows me to choose less. Uh, it's something I really, really like. This is something I just not discovered, but I would say rediscovered in a way where I'm like, wait a minute, why? Let's go back to a little bit to the stock plugins. Clean, clean sound, nothing wrong with this plugin. Trust me, it's very good. Um, click on this here, on this bar, and what opens up is the compressor. So now we have a compressor. Sure, you could change to classic vintage, you know, opto, like an LA-2A or whatever, but I'm sticking with the default, the platinum, because that is a neutral, non-coloring, absolutely fast, if needs to be, compressor that is, um, yeah, doesn't get in the way. And here we'll get to see the gain reduction that it employs. So I have two windows here in Logic, in this session here, that they, they don't go away. They are going to be there whether you use them or not. And I can see my gain reduction here, and I can see my EQ curves. So that is already something that I want to use. After that, I'm adding, in my case, the SSL 4000E. I have a subscription, but I already bought the plugin. Um, yes, there's the G, there's the 9000J, so many different ones. I like this one. I like the colors. I like how it sounds. Um, I, I like how everything is streamlined. I like it better than, than the one from Waves. It's just a little bit, yeah, it's just laid out better, very quick. Once you get to, to know it, it's a very, very powerful plugin. Swiss Army Knife, your sound dialed in, right? So you could approach it depending on how you work. First EQ, the one, the stock EQ, uh, address immediate problems. Then you go into the compressor to catch peaks, and then you go into the BX console to kind of like tweak the sound a little bit, add another layer of compression, uh, perhaps do um, a gate or an expander. All of this allows you to get very, very close to your sound. Very, very close. Um, if you can't do it with this setup, that means you can't do it um, with much better plugins either. Um, this is about it, uh, of course, add then three delays and three reverbs. It's sort of like the uh, Chris Lord Algae Epic plugin, which goes four delays into four reverbs. Um, uh, I, don't, I don't do that. Three and three is enough for me. We could always add more, but I have that on every single track. It's available, right? And when I create my buses 
obviously drum bass, whatever, uh, keyboards, guitars, they're getting the same treatment. Um, just want to show you here what I'm doing. For example, it's a slap delay, tape delay, and that then feeds into the hall, could also feed into the plate reverb. So um, we have these dialed in. Uh, for example, here on the plate, I even have like an additional plate lined up if I want to swap those two. So that is another template that I have. Um, in this case, it's the UAD Pure Plate, but um, this is all depending on the song. But these things are ready to go. So all the buses will show up here. So drum bus will be here. Uh, there's another bus here that is the rear bus. It's the Andrew Sheps method. Um, the rear bus, I'm using an 1176 by Arturia. You make sure that the detection mode is dual, so they're not linked. Um, you have a very, very slow attack and a quite fast, but not super fast release. Andrew Sheps does it here with a uh, two to one ratio. This compressor does not have that option. So we're doing a four to one ratio. Maybe we'll do a little bit less gain reduction. But there's the concept of the rear bus where every, everything, including the delays, are being sent to the rear bus. The reverbs are going to send, be sent to the rear bus. All the buses are going to be sent to the rear bus, except the drum bus. That is about it. If you want to change something, for example, you can easily say, okay, well, I want another EQ here. There you go. And then each track has that change. Anyways, so what you end up with is a mixer that is very, very streamlined, doesn't have too many moving parts, you're utilizing everything, and it gets you there from the get-go. So yeah, and then you save it as a template, and you can start a session pretty quickly, open up the folder where the tracks are, drag them right here, and then group things uh, for busing, and you're off to mixing, and you can replace, you know, can add DSers and you can add, you know, all the gimmicks and tricks to specific tracks that needed, but at least each track has a good starting point. By looking at your session, you're going to have an idea what is going on. Just one of the templates doesn't work for every song, but it's going to work in a lot of scenarios. That's it. Massive Beats out.